Hey guys, uh, today I'm bringing you an After Effects tutorial on uh, how I make most of my videos and uh, yeah, except for this time I'm going to be showing you um, how I made DJ Frost's uh, video, his next upcoming, his upcoming promotion so to speak. So yeah, um, the reason I, it's not my video is, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't usually put up an After Effects tutorial, but I've gotten a request from like a couple of guys, uh, including DJ Frost, to make a tutorial um, on how I make the videos and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, so yeah, feel free to uh, you know learn or just copy uh, what I do. Usually, people create uh, multiple compositions this is a composition people make multiple ones and then combine them in some way but I keep mine uh, I guess complicated uh, by putting everything in one compilation uh, composition so here I have the all the files I'll need I've already loaded up here is uh, DJ Frost's promotion picture and then the picture itself that I'll be using for uh, when the beat or when the track drops and everything, the beat comes and everything. And then there's also an intro video and the track itself. So let's just put that into the composition here. And it's a 720, it went to 1280 by 720 actually. So uh, 720p quality. Let's just put that in there, bam. So notice, uh, I, have, I always put it into 10 minutes because his promotions of songs are usually, if it's a single track, then it's usually less than 10 minutes. So I just put it up at 10 minutes and then I can just, you know, lower the time frame or like the area I want to work in like that. Just put it a little bit higher and then just trim it. That's how you get it. Trim it again like that. I'll just keep it like that right now. Uh, you can see here this song, or not this song, this picture isn't in to scale with the actual video, neither is uh, this thing, so I'm going to scale that so it's, it seems like 20 to 720p. Um, it's also, it's always, it's always better if you get uh, a bigger picture uh, rather than a smaller one, because then it won't be blurred out and pixelated and stuff, and it's, it actually keeps the quality in there. So let's just get that uh, to 93.8. I always, I, I'll, it's usually around there, depending on how the picture is. Uh, so that fits perfectly. A little bit outside, but that's fine. No one, no one really notices. <laughs> um, so that's done there. Now let's go to the next one. Scale that down. Let's just see. Around uh, 67, 66.7. Usually I would put that one on. Um, yeah, come on. There we go. And then we have the intro video. Also around 66.7. Yeah. All right. So we got that there. Let's just see. Gotta make sure everything's good. Usually there's like a little red space. Yeah, that thing. Gotta remove that. Like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to know uh, when the beat drops. Usually Frost tells me when the beat drops, so I don't have to search for it. But that's not a problem. Just listen. I press the zero key to uh, listen to, um, listen, like go through the play the video with the sound. If you press space, then if you press space, then it's like just as the video and no sound. I am still Let's just lower the volume a little bit. I am still in the pockets of men. I. Alright, so it's, it's like right here somewhere.
think it's right there. Um, let's see. So we could take this, press T to adjust the opacity of it. We want it to fade in like right at the drop. So uh, we'll put that, click this button right here, put that to 100, and we can go down a couple of frames and get that to zero. Let's have it at the drop instead. Or when the beat base comes. That's good. Great. Um, so we got that. Now we know where the beat drops and everything. Go back to the beginning and uh, listen to the intro a little bit so we know how to fade. Uh, the, his intro video. Also, we can get this down to down to zero percent. Right. Now, since this is in video, it will have to render it. Got to know how to fit it out. I think I know how to just keep that there. Zero there. That seems alright. And then exactly when the kick comes in there, that's when we want uh, the edit picture to come in. Right there somewhere. Let's just uh, drop that thing over there. And we want it to go all the way to the beat. I'm going to change it. I have an idea for something over here. Uh, but we'll come to that later, so let's just do this first. Um, it's 200 right here, approximately. All right, that's good. Uh, but that, like, over looking at that for over uh, like more than 30 seconds approximately it's kind of boring so to make it a little bit less boring um, I make it zoom out I make first I change the scale to 80 all right that's 80 right there and then from here from where this uh, the opacity starts to f uh, fade in uh, I change the scale. I start. Let's just drop that over there, and then uh, this. The ending doesn't really matter right now, so we just put it there, and then we we'll change this back to 66.7. And it looks like that. Uh, I think we can zoom in just a little bit more. About 90. I think. Let's just see how that turns out. I think that's fine. Let's get over here to this side. I was almost right to keep it there, that little point. I think let's do it. it's right around 40. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just stop that over there. Take the opacity, stop that over there too. Um, 
Now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to make his head pop out. Just his head around here. Make that a little fade uh, as like when he's speaking when the there's like this little voice here, right? Just before the drop. Pedro, your warriors are gone. I instill terror in the hearts of men. I am dead. Alright, so I'm in Photoshop now. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate or make a new one. Uh, take that file, put that in there, accept. Um, let's see. I'm going to make a new layer, Control Shift N, and paint that black, right? So it's like that. Now I'm going to erase the part of the black which I want to be shown. Uh, let's change the settings on this thing a little bit. Uh, opacity just down like that so I can see his head and where I want to erase it. This should be good. Oh. See how that turns out. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of good. Let's try one more time, right? Yeah, I think that's fine, right there. So let's save that, and then add it to the video. Alright, so here I, I'm adding it. That part right there, change the size of it to match. Like that. Um, <clears throat> so we got that right there. I want it to, when he speaks, that's when I want the head to pop out, right? So it's like a little teaser for uh, what comes next. So let's fade that in from when the uh, when from right here when it stops from this. Oh, forgot to fade that out. Let's go over here and drop another one of these things. And that's when it fades out like that, right? Just to see how it turns out, right? We could do this. Oops, maybe that was a little too quick. Like that. Great. So now. At that part then, 40 seconds, we add, we make this one pop, get in there. And, uh, we can even make it like a fluctuate just a little bit, you know. Just for some extra effects like that, make it go down. And then it's supposed to end right, right there, like that approximately. So let's try that out. So, yeah, I'm glad that turned out <laughs> perfect, uh, good in the first go. Um, now, before we go on to the spectrum and stuff, I usually um, edit this picture a little bit, just a little bit, right? Not, not, uh, don't change like anything inside the video uh, picture. I just add a glow. So what I did was right click, stylize, and then glow. You can also go into effect, stylize, and glow from there. 
and uh, you see there that it added a little, little intense, kind of intense glow to it. We don't want that in t as intense, so let's just first tweak out the radius a little bit, right? Let's make a little epic. Uh, it's good to notice if there's anything going on in the bright bright areas. Maybe you don't want to like remove it because you're definitely gonna make it fade away when you add the glow to it. Uh, like the horn, the other horn is just like barely seen uh, after I've added the glow. So yeah, changing the threshold here can also vary, uh, fix the uh, picture. We're just gonna 100 makes it like really like almost nothing. Of course there is slightly, or have it at like 25 if you want like a lot, but then you can like make it intense like this, however you want it. If you want something to, something to glow a lot then you can uh, have it at lower like 10 as it was in the beginning but just to lower the threshold but I usually go for like around 100 and then I change the threshold just a bit like that make it more glowy see it's nice there now we've added that now we shall add the spectrum to do is right click here new solid just write spectrum and then you right click here on the spectrum and you click generate and audio spectrum right there so you got this little line with a couple of dots in it uh, frost likes his videos to be have it like this one on this side one on the other side so let's just do one side first okay fix where fix the things, um, change the color to white, so that you can check. Uh, you can check easier. That's pretty much good. Uh, we don't want to change this 720p, right? 720p is the max, but we want to have a little bit less, 15, because we're keeping that uh, that distance right there. And uh, that can be five, because zero plus five, and then 720 minus five. Uh, so we have it there, but that will change because we're going to change uh, the size. So let's do that right now. Change the size, change the softness so it's not blurry. Uh, also, you got to change the audio layer to the track so it shows up. Change the side to side A so it's only on one side. And change the height to around a thousand or a little bit more uh, for his videos for us I have a little bit more because then you know the base you can see the base popping up out there in the top where the, the low frequency is so let's just see how that looks out or looks like uh, before we do that I just want to change when it comes in Capacity 100. That's going to be zero. There, let's check that out. I'm going to change this a little bit so that it fades out, and then there's a little like a second before it goes in again. a little spoiler of the track there as well <laughs> so yeah now we've changed the size got to change uh, so that it fits in let's just change that to like 713 no 710 I guess and change that to 10 maybe not <laughs> 8 7 I guess seven is fine. We have that here at seven thirteen. Maybe not. Let me keep 
a 10. Yeah. Right. Um, this thing right here, frequency bands, add uh, frequency bands adds the number of uh, dots there, though. So, yeah. Keep that at a minimum. Not a minimum, but a fair level. Sorry, 64. I just might just keep it at 64. Uh, what I do change here is uh, the end frequency. I lower that a little bit. So it's the end is not shown as much as uh, the mid and the low. So that, that boosts the low of the bass quite a, quite a lot. It keeps it a little simple. If I have it like 500, then it's basically just like the kick and the snare. Right there, that's the snare right there. And that's the kick. But just keep it nicer. I keep it at like a thousand six hundred. I'll keep it at a thousand five hundred. All right, so that's that part done. Uh, we want to change the colors, so that's um, so it fits. We can have a complete red, or maybe like an orange, a little dark orange. Uh, you could just like click that and then pick the color you had there. No, not exactly that one. Hmm, maybe. I'm also gonna add a glow to the equal uh, to the equalizer. Like that so it like fa it like uh, it shows basically. If I didn't have that, then the equalizer would just blend in with the color. But if I have the glow, then it kind of. Um, sticks it out. I think that's fine, maybe. Change it to red. No. Maybe some maybe not white. Black. You go back to orange. <laughs> Change the glow up a little bit. Keep that at 10. Basically the same concept here when you're doing the glow, uh, threshold, uh, like when you're doing on a picture too. I think that's fine right there. Now, since we want it on both sides, both here and there, uh, all you need to do is duplicate this. And uh, you have to change the start and end point. Uh, I don't know if you can. Oh, well, I guess you can. Where does this change, though? Um, right negative 100 but I will also want to, what I also want to do is change this right here right perfect so you just change that I used to do it more complicated before but I just found an easier way <laughs> you keep that to a negative 100 oh. don't link them together like that there and that's basically the track right in itself. Let's just see how that drops. So I have the whole thing here as well. Like that. Okay, maybe that'll take a long time.
turn out great, right? So now we have the whole video done. All we have to do is fix the outro, the ending right here. This is all that requires work, to be honest. Once you're done with the drop, then you can just leave it. Um, all you have to do now is fix the ending so it's not like, you know, basic. You just change that up by just write outro here and get a black background. Uh, change the opacity to zero and then right about when it's ending, right? You can even go listen to it. Just turn off the. Just don't turn off anything. It's a slow fade. Maybe we could start a little earlier. chicken over there. I don't think we need the whole thing though, but let's just wait for it. Alright, we know when to, or at least I know when to, <laughs> uh, change this. We'll change that later. And now you take the outro and you put that right there and you make a fade to darkness right there. That. Let's wait a little bit. Just gonna play and see if it's in the right fade, if it's going too fast or too slow. Nah, it's great. And now, for like the last thing, if you did leave a little bit of this out. This part, if you left it um, a little extra, all you need to do is reduce it to approximately like there, trim that, and you got your whole set. Now, uh, let's just save this first. Uh, what was it called? Mantis Desolation. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we take the composition and add it to Adobe Media Encoder Q. I'll also show you the, like my output settings, I guess. And if you guys know better any better output settings, then please let me know. Uh, it'll help me out a lot because I do I do notice the quality isn't exactly like I want it to be. What the hell is this? Alright, that's working. Um, so yeah. If you know any settings, just please let me know because it will really help me out. Um, I changed that to like 10. And 12. Increase the, increase the file size, but I mean, it's so it looks better, basically. So it doesn't seem as pixelated or anything. So I just keep that at 10, and then at 12, and that's pretty much it. Maximum depth, uh, maximum render quality. Don't frame blend because that'll just make it weird. Um, oh shit! What do I do? Just cancel that and restart. Stereo, right? Make sure the bit rate is at 320. Otherwise, 192 works as well, but 320 is fine. Uh, 320 is better because you're here to listen to the music, not actually look at the video. <laughs> so yeah, want to make sure the video, uh, the music at least it's, has best quality in there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Click, change this name to Mantis. Save and. Yeah. Okay, and then there.
it takes about 10 minutes but yeah uh, if you want to see how it actually turned out like if without it loading or anything like that just go check on his video I will not upload the video here so make sure to go to his channel I'll put a link in the description uh, thanks for watching liking favoriting adding it to your tutorial playlist if you have one and uh, I guess I'll see you next time whenever that may be peace